Good job. To control the camera, hold the special action button and use the main direction controls. That's so you can look all around you. Go ahead. Try to follow the two glowing orbs with the camera. Follow me. It's this way. This way, to the right, hurry! To jump, simply press the jump button once. Go ahead, jump. Come on, join me. It's not very high. Good! But do you know how to do a double jump? Up, up. See that? It's really easy. Just press the jump button twice. Your turn. Very good. Now do one more double jump, but this time make it a running jump. Take your time before you press the jump button the second time. Try to follow this rhythm. When I say one, jump. When I say two, jump again. Pay attention. Are you ready? One and two. Not bad, but you can do better. Don't forget, take your time to do a double jump over a distance. You'll jump further. Do a third and last double jump. Be very careful. There's a big, very, very deep hole underneath. If you fall in, the adventure will be over. Go ahead, it's your turn. See that door? See that flagstone? Step on the flagstone to open the door. You'll see, Arthur. A flagstone can activate many things. To activate a flagstone correctly, stay on it for a little while. And there you go, the door opens. Follow me, it's this way. Oh, they look like soccer balls. What? Balls? Those aren't balls. They are pollen globes. When you touch them, they begin to shrink. And after a while, poof, they disappear. This strange object is a bar with its counterweight. Like the flagstone, it can be used to activate many things. Go ahead, grab the bar and hang on. To open the door just behind it. Stand right under the horizontal bar, where there is a white circle drawn on the ground. And press the jump button to jump and grab on. It's a good mechanism, but since mini boys don't weigh much, the counterweight takes some time to go up and activate. If you press the action button several times, the counterweight will go up much faster. Great job! Don't take this the wrong way, but when you're hanging there, you look a little like a moof moof. <laughs> Come on, it's this way. Arthur, I'm here! No, Arthur, not this way. Go back and walk to the right of the blade of grass. There are two flagstones. I wonder why. Wonder why? <laughs> well, it's to open the door. One isn't enough? Not always. Sometimes even three or four flagstones need to be activated at once to open a door. Sometimes these flagstones are hidden. Then you have to find them all, and that's not easy. Go on, stand on one of the two flagstones, and I'll stand on the other. There, let's keep going. Oh, more pollen. You can kick the pollen by pressing on the action button or the special action button. The great kick. Follow me, it's this way. I can't believe I'm lost. Oh, but of course. Now, 
You see this huge block? You have to push it to be able to go any further. It's easy. Stand in front of the block and keep the action button pressed. Then you just push in a direction, like when you're walking. And since too many moys are stronger than one, I'm gonna help you. Don't forget to keep the action button pressed. Go on, you have to let go. Release the action button. We have to reach the bar up there. Come on, follow me. I'll show you. There are the orange flagstones. They are Arthur, I told you they were orange flagstones. You have to stay on them or put something on them in your place to keep the door open. To take hold of the block, stand in front of it and keep the action button pressed. When you get to the second block up there, push it down below. Yeah! Now, last step. You must stack the blocks and climb onto them to reach the bar. Did you notice the two marks on this sign? They mean that you have to stack two blocks, one on top of the other, in this spot. Would you please bring a block to the first mark? Now, go get the other block. We'll lift it together on top of this one. and stack it on top of the other block. To lift it, press the action button several times. Keep it up, I'm coming to help you. Now all you have to do is climb onto the two blocks. And great, Arthur, congratulations. Quick, grab the block. We've hung around here long enough. Follow me, quick. The council's expecting us. the rune and unlock the first card. It's easy to look at the cards that you've unlocked. I'll show you. Arthur, look! A combat training dummy. Do not know how to defend yourself? Go on, jump! Hit it by pressing the action button. Wow, yeah. what a punch! You can defend yourself just fine. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a save flower. Just go on it to save your game. It's easy. Most of the time, there needs to be three of us to activate one. But it sometimes works with only two, or even just one. But that's unusual. This one works with two. Do you want to try? Go on, you do the honors. I'll be right behind you. You must open this door. The council is waiting for us right behind it. There's only one way to do this. 
Reduce these two training dummies to rubble. I'll let you do it. Yeah! Come on, Arthur, yeah! keep it up. Now the other one, Arthur, there's still one left. But wait! Oh, you're hurt! This was from the fall through the telescope, wasn't it? You hurt? Yes! Look at these green bars in the interface. One is missing. Oh, it's nothing. It's just... Can you believe it? We are going to stand before the council for a special audience. You... There are a lot more dragonfly eggs over here. Pick them all up. This is it! We're here! And look! Your bag contains enough dragonfly eggs to give you back a life point. I'll explain. When you have enough dragonfly eggs, the recharge button on your bag appears. You can then press this button whenever you want to eat 20 eggs all at once and get back another life point. Go on, try it. Press the recharge button. Very good. You're now in tip-top shape again. And one last thing. You can decide to control who you want, when you want. Simply press the switch button. That way you can play with Arthur, but also with me, Beta Mesh. And soon with my sister, Selenia. <sighs> the council is expecting us. Hurry! Beta Mesh! Pin Pin! Come over here. There are several bags of dragonfly eggs to be picked up. Arthur, go see. in quick succession on the special action button. Keep doing that. That's very good. The first padlock is open. There are still two to open. Hurry up! The henchman over there has the second key. You must not lose sight of him. Control of Arthur and jump to grab onto these roots. 
That's good. There was another way to the Momo farm, up there. Arthur, you have to climb. Press on the jump button again to climb up onto the root. Then quickly press it a second time. Excellent. To let go, press the action button. Fantastic. Now press the jump button to pull yourself up next to the blue flagstone. Yes, I was sure you'd make it. Hey, what was that? Locked flagstones, and you blew up their lock. Do you see that pontoon? I think if we activate these three flagstones, it will come down to the bottom, and we will be able to climb onto it. And why don't you climb up to join me? We don't know how to. And Selene is afraid of heights. Vedemesh, where are the three flagstones? We have to go back. They must be scattered all over. Arthur, while you were climbing earlier, did you see the countdown around your character's icon? It tells you how long you can hang on like that. If it gets to zero, you can no longer hang on, and you'll fall. So, next time, make sure you rest every once in a while. To do this, simply put your feet down on the ground for a few seconds. These eggs are too heavy. I'm in position. Your turn. All right.
watchmen have captured some villagers. They're taking them to their horrible cage. Why are they doing this? They need slaves. Well, M needs slaves. That's horrible. M is horrible. And Darkos, too. Darkos? The commander-in-chief of the henchmen troops, the son of M, the malicious. Look out! You three, stay hidden. There's another mosquito coming. Come! It's this way! Shh! You'll get us caught. Go toward that light. Why are the henchmen destroying our stairs? That's the second one. Perhaps they think they're ugly. Perhaps they want to stop us from getting to the Momo farm. They just want to stop everyone from getting away and catch us. Metamesh gets a new skill.